Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here in this PS5 tutorial. We're going to show you how to record your gameplay without a capture card. Let's get started. Okay, first make sure you're inside the game. You can't record unless you're actually inside of a game. And what you're going to do is push the button, the share button, on the left side of your DualSense controller. From here, the share menu will appear on the lower third of your screen. At this point, you have three options in the middle there. On the left side, you'll be able to record previously played clips. The PlayStation 5 is recording up to 60 minutes of video, regardless if you hit the button or not. And this will allow you to go back after you've played and actually record up to 60 minutes of a clip, which is really cool. The center one here is just for taking a screenshot. So you just push it and click, it takes a screenshot. And the one on the right will actually start the recording at the point where you push that button. And here's a demonstration of how you do that. So you're gonna to go to the right icon there. You're gonna push that. You'll see the little timer start at the top with the little red dot and that'll let you know that you're actually recording. Okay, and when you're finished recording, just go ahead and push that share button one more time and then hit stop recording. Your clip is gonna display on the left side of that lower third and then it'll be automatically saved to your media gallery. Next, the icon on the left will actually let you save previously played clips. You can do a short clip of either 15 or 30 seconds, or you can save full video and it'll save based on your settings of up to 60 minutes. And this feature is awesome because the PlayStation is always recording, so you can go back in time and actually grab that clip. And for quick screenshots as usual, push the button on the left, the share button, and right smack dab in the middle, just hit that button, it'll grab that screenshot for you. And again, save to your media gallery. Alrighty, and the last thing for today is the icon to the far right, those capture options. This will allow you to go in there and change the type of screenshot, either a JPEG or PNG. It'll allow you to change the actual video clip file type. If you do 4K, it'll default to WebM. If you do 1080, it'll allow you to do MP4, which is easier to use on most video editors. And last but not least, you can control your mic's audio, whether it's in the recording or not, and also the party audio. Okay, now you're finished recording screenshots, recording video gameplay. Let's head on over to the media gallery and have a look. All right, from this point, there's a couple things you can do. You can either take this media, save it onto a USB thumb drive or, or hard drive, grab it, put it in your computer, edit it in your favorite video editing program, such as iMovie, Premiere, Resolve, Final Cut Pro, whatever. Or another option is you can actually edit the video inside of your PlayStation 5 in Share Factory Studio, a free piece of software that you can download from the PlayStation Store and edit the video right inside of your PS5. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on that very soon. Alrighty, I think that's it for today's tutorial. As usual, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, the bell, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace and aloha.